forth type thing. Okay. But anyway, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. It's Claudia. Cargan Darcy. Cargan dot Darcy. Just Darcy. Yeah. Darcy. Just Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> Claudia Darcy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, I'm back again, New York City, live here with Claudia Darcy. And um, man, you have a what a quarter million people on your blog now. This year, if um, the numbers keep the way they are. Um, but yeah, it's going to be reaching by the end of the year. A quarter million readers would have gotten there in this year span. Yeah. So Claudia is a birth mother and she has a powerful story and she's just a, a soldier, soldierette. You know, she's a fighter. She's fighting for people out there in the adoption world. And like I said, uh, this whole month uh, in November when, when this air, I want to get both sides. I want to hear people who are angry with adoption. I want to, uh, you know, because we can learn from people that are angry with adoption, um, people that are happy with adoption. We definitely learn from them because we all want to be happy. Um, so that's what this whole purpose of this show is, just to let you know, um, whatever you say, whatever your story is, I'm sure it can help others and educate other people. So why don't you educate us? All right. Well, it's it's November, and not only is it National Adoption Month, but it is my personal adoption month because my son was born in the month of November, the 14th, so smack dab in the middle. Um, so, you know, it's actually kind of appropriate to talk about what November means to me. Um, you know, as everyone's celebrating adoption, I kind of want to hide. Um, I hate the month of November, but I've, at the last couple of years, I've forced myself to be present and try to take advantage of the marketing ability of this month and the fact that everybody's talking about it and not to go hide. So, um, you know, the first couple of weeks of November for me are, are you know, it's anticipation because I know it's coming. And... Um, you know, for the majority of birth parents that I know, you know, the birthday is a tremendous trigger. And, you know, it will be 27 years this year for me. And even though I'm in a very good reunion and we've both had very good experiences with adoption, the fact of the matter is, is I really know that I will have a meltdown at one point or another. Will it be exactly on his birthday? Maybe not. But it's, it's a physical, it's a cellular level for me. I mean, maybe it's different for dads, but I know for the majority of moms, we will talk about how it is, it is cellular. It's like, you can't avoid it, and there's just no point in even trying to. I, I don't anymore. I expect it. It's kind of like, oh, there you are again. Come on. Um, you know, try to arrange it so it doesn't, like, interfere with something else that's going on. Like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to cry on Thursday night because, you know, well, Friday night we have to go to a movie. Um, so I'll let the th cry happen on Thursday night. But, you know, it, it really, it happens every month, every year. It has happened for 27 years. There is no avoiding it. Um, and then even afterwards, you know, so, you know, the 14th is his birthday. Well, the 16th is the day that I left the hospital. And that's probably out of you know the birthday was a happy day the 16th leaving the hospital was was not a happy day at all um and then you know the 17th i went shopping to buy him things to leave with him um and then the 18th is the day that i signed the relinquishment papers because i was in massachusetts and it was 72 hours and i had to sign as soon as possible because otherwise he would, you know, he's been in foster care for two years since we both were just two days since we were both discharged from the hospital. And um, so, you know, I have to sign as soon as possible. So I signed at 72 hours and I still don't have, um, you know, the trauma induced amnesia is also very common for a lot of people. And um, I, I don't, I have very, very strange memories from that, even though I've gone back and tried to recreate things and tried to physically remember them, they're, they're just gone. Um, but it's also the 18th, so I, I signed the relinquishment papers, but that's also his gotcha day. And I just, you know, we celebrate adoption, and they celebrate lots of adoptions in the month of November, and then there's going to be a lot of other gotcha days in November. And um, I hate the word gotcha day. You know, I, I, I don't know if his family actually does celebrate gotcha day, um, but I know a lot of people do. And gotcha day for me is pretty much one of the worst days of my life. When you say gotcha day, I, we heard from Dr. Uh, uh, there was a doctor here from Nebraska earlier, and he, he said gotcha is National Do Adoption Day. Is that what you're saying? Um, well, no, the gotcha day is usually the day that the adoptive parents 
get the child. So that's really a word that is yeah. out there. Gotcha day. Oh, it's gotcha day. Uh, and okay, they yeah. So I'm yeah. I'm being educated too. You know, I'm a birth father and I'm I'm new to the scene and I just want to educate myself as well. That's why I want to do these interviews. So so that's something I thought yeah. he just made up. <laughs> I mean, there is actually the Saturday in November, which is National Adoption Day, yeah. and that day they want to have lots of adoptions. Yeah. Um, so that will be a big gotcha day for lots of people yeah. personally. But you know, it's it's any day that either the child came, you know, from overseas uh -huh. or the adoptive family received the child. Um, so I know my son's gotcha day is technically on November 18th because that's the day that his parents got the phone call and went and picked him up and they brought him home. That is his gotcha day. And was it an open adoption or closed? Um, it was it was a closed adoption. It was 1987. So there was no, I did not ever hear the word adoption, open adoption until quite a few years later, if not a decade after. Um, you know, I, I got to pick his parents and I had, you know, the dear birth mother letters and I had photos, but there was no identifying information. And then I had uh, updates. I had photo updates at six months and one year. And then I was done with my updates until I found him in 2004. But... Um, yeah, so but going back to Gotcha Day, that 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 is the Gotcha Day, and you know, for me, it was it was the day that I signed the papers, and um, my memories of that are really very very blank, and I I don't really recall much of it. I I don't know if it was really rainy and dark the way I remember it to be um, in my mind. It's it's a dark, cold, rainy November day, and we went to an office, and I still don't know. I think it was a notary public's office. I have no idea whose office it was. Um, I have no idea who was sitting behind the desk, but there was a person sitting behind a desk over here. And over here against the wall was this little table and there was a light shining on it and on the light and there was the papers and the light was shining on the papers. And that's what my visual of it. And I just hear the words over and over again, you know, because they read them to me. You'll never, ever, 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 always and forever, never be his mother again. You're going to give him up forever and ever and ever and ever. And I just remember thinking, oh, my God, I just want you people to shut up. Just shut up. I don't want to hear this anymore. I just want this to stop. I want it to go away. And to make it go away, I had to sign. And what city was this? Uh, this was in Mo it was in Massachusetts outside of Boston. Okay. I was in um, Newton, which is where my agency was. Um, I am nice and I will not name them. Um, but yeah, so it was, um, you know, that was gotcha day. And then, you know, I went home the next day back to Long Island. And I just remember driving. My mother came to pick me up after not talking to me for the whole entire pregnancy. It was great. Um, but she came to pick me up, brought me home. And we drove into the setting sun. And if you're going on, uh, I, don't, I think it's 95 or 91 or whatever it is. But the afternoon sun in the winter on that road <laughs> hits you. It is blinding. And... I just remember sitting in the car and we were stuck in traffic forever because nobody could see because of the sun and thinking, oh my God, what are we doing? Can we turn the car around and go back? Like, I forgot my baby. Mm, man. So, yeah, gotcha day might be a happy day for some people, but I still cringe when I hear the word. Hey, you got this. You know, <laughs> whatever you're doing right now, you got this and God got you. That's my little motivation um, for you no matter what day it is. Gotcha day, any day. Um, if you have, you know, if you're an activist, you know, go for it. Keep oh, going. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Break out of that closet and start using your voice. Yeah. Definitely. Every single one of us because we're, we're just regular people yeah. yep. you know ooh, birth parents and there's no mystery there's no mystery there's no you know like oh we don't go live under rocks yeah. you know and I'm not going back into my rock so you yeah. know we're out here yeah. and you know you don't know who we are we don't have tattoos on our foreheads um, you know you'll never know us when you see us on the street but we're all over the place yeah. birth, parents birth parents everywhere wow hey amazing <laughs> okay national adoption month in November um, hey I Thanks. I mean, I really appreciate it. She has a lot of viewers on her blog. Why don't you give a little shout out about your blog, your website? It's uh, it's Musings of the Lame. And uh, so it's www.musingsofthelame.com. Um, you can Google Claudia Adoption. You can Google Birth Mother. You find me. Google's my friend. <laughs>